drag and drop activities are a fun, interactive way to engage your students in the classroom. With the use of ClassPoint, an interactive PowerPoint add-in, you can add these draggable objects right into your PowerPoint presentation to help you powerfully deliver your lesson content or to have fun, interactive in-class activities. If you're unfamiliar with ClassPoint's draggable objects, take a look at this video linked up above. Otherwise, here are eight ways that you can transform your PowerPoint presentations with ClassPoint's draggable objects. Number one, interactive visual aids. Add any images, information, or other elements right into your PowerPoint presentation to help students understand complex visual concepts. Here, for example, I can simulate the movements of objects in the solar system to show my students how all of their movements affect each other. Idea number two, concept mapping. Help students visualize and understand the relationship between different ideas. In this example here, I wanna illustrate the similarities and differences using a Venn diagram. Then I can discuss with my class and we can determine where each one of these descriptors should go. Number three is sequencing and sorting. Have students sort through information and understand the order of events by adding elements of a timeline, steps, or storyline right into your PowerPoint slides. Here I can demonstrate the order of events for a rock cycle and move around these objects to the correct location and annotate. This way students aren't just staring at a static image and this information will make a more lasting impression. Number four, categorize information with a in-class drag and drop activity. I can call on a student and they can go ahead and tell me where each one of these governments belongs. If I need help picking a student, I can import my class list into ClassPoint and use the random name picker to pick a name. Five, reveal hidden information. Place a shape or an image over key pieces of information, answers, or instructions on your slide, and then during the presentation to keep students' attention and focus at one point in your slide, you can slowly start revealing one portion at a time. And then this will also help build up anticipation and excitement too. Number six, problem solving. Use draggable objects to, as visual aids to help clarify the solution of a problem for students. Like this math problem, I can manipulate these objects to show the different fractions or the outcome of this solved equation to help students really grasp that concept. Seven, matching and labeling is a great way for students to comprehend new concepts and new vocabulary. As we're going through the new vocab words, I can drag the word to the correct location on the diagram. This makes it a little bit easier for students to follow along and make those visual connections to put more meaning behind each one of the words. And last, eight, create drag and drop activities to be done as a class or as a fun learning game. Any of the previous examples can be used, but instead of you controlling how to move around the objects, have your students get out of their seats and take turns at the computer or at an interactive whiteboard to move around the objects themselves. For example, I want to run a review game to go over all the new vocab that we just learned. Students can take turns coming up to the board, moving around one of the vocab words, dropping it into the definition to score a point. With class points gamification, I can also keep score right in PowerPoint. And that is all eight. By having the ability to freely move around your slide objects, you can better explain complex problems, help students build those visual connections, and create a lesson that promotes active participation and learning. If you guys want to learn more about how to set up draggable objects in your presentation, take a look at this video. Or if you want to learn more about the other ClassPoint features that were mentioned, go to classpoint.io. I'll link it down below for you guys. And while you're down there, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, and give us a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching.